Hello and welcome to What the Flick. We're going to talk about Rum Diary now. Young Hunter S. Thompson, before he was Gonzo. Before. Oh, I'm Christy and this is Matt Atchity and Alonzo's going to hang out and just be delightful. Heck, I'll, I'll kibitz. I haven't seen the movie. Please so. kibitz. All right. <laughs> Describe what it's about. So Rum Diary stars Johnny Depp uh, again as Hunter S. Thompson or this time named Paul Kemp, a mm -hmm. uh, character from... Thompson's early novel, The Rum Diary. It's really a story of him in Puerto Rico somewhat finding his voice. He goes to Puerto Rico to join this newspaper, this failing newspaper, and encounters corruption, and what's he gonna do, and, and it's it wants to almost be fear and loathing, but it's <laughs> before there was any fear, before there was any loathing. <laughs> Puerto Rico, I came down here looking for a story. And if the drinking doesn't get you into trouble, how does anybody drink 161 miniatures? Are they not complimentary? The women definitely will. I thought maybe you were a mermaid. I'm from Connecticut. Stay away from her. She's Sanderson's fiance. She sunbathes in the nude. Take it like to Morocco. Now all this might sound like some crazed hallucination, but it's all true. I think. This place is a sea of money, Paul. And there's people like me who know how to get it out. The front seat's gone. I've got a brilliant idea. Try and look normal. So yeah, a whole lot of naked Amber Heard. Nothing wrong with that. She is stunningly beautiful, working the Grace Kelly look. Yes, this. this is a beautifully shot film. Mm -hmm. uh, it's set in Puerto Rico in the 60s. Uh, it's you know shot very nicely. It's it lo the production design is great. Uh, you know, Puerto Good Rico, cast. great cast, yeah. Yeah, great looking movie. Um, it, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was all right. It's yeah. not as zany. It's not the insane head trip that right. Fear and Loathing is. And I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed right. here. If you expect like hallucinogenic, right. you know, <laughs> right. crazy acid right. trip. I mean, there is one drug scene, right. but even that is comparatively right. And restrained. some drunken benders, but I felt right. like those were kind of dropped in to kind of appeal to the right. fear and loathing crowd. Go, Look, he's and drunk. I, right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and, and not Terry Gilliam, right? Who, who directed right. them? Bruce. Davidson? Bruce Davidson. Did with yeah. Mail and Die? Oh, okay, and yeah. how to get ahead in advertising. Yeah. yeah. So, but and I one liked, he's made a long time, I guess. And I love mm -hmm. With Mill and I. I mm -hmm. think that's a great movie. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, a, a different take, a much more effective take on two guys drinking all the time than, <laughs> than this one was. You know, this one, I, I think, actually has one of the same problems that Fear and Loathing does, which is it's this meandering story right. that doesn't really go anywhere. And whereas right. I think Fear and Loathing works a little bit better because it's just the abject insanity right. that's going on there, peppered with Hunter S. Thompson's prose. This one is a, is you know early in Thompson's career. It's an early novel that didn't get published till a few years mm -hmm. back, and it's it's not quite there yet. It's not quite the Thompson we know and love and just are awed by. Right. Plus, you know, it's just boring to watch a restrained Johnny Depp, right? And he can't right. be weird all the time. He can't always right. be Captain Jack Sparrow or you know, right. Sweeney Todd or whatever the, the weirder roles he's, he's known for. But it's no fun to watch him be like the observant conduit right. to all of this. And right. again, it, Especially it, 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 as a Hunter S. Thompson type, right? right? Where you really mm -hmm. want to see him mm -hmm. Cut loose, and you and you and this is the story where it kind of gets there, mm -hmm. where you see the birth of Raoul Duke, so to mm -hmm. speak, the birth of the Doctor. But so it's, it's an origin it's, story. It's, sort it's of. a prequel. It kinda it's is. a prequel. It but, it's, is. but it's also weird because we, we know, of course, how much Johnny Depp loved Hunter S. Thompson. They were great friends. Right. But he's forty-eight at this point, playing a guy starting was, out in right, his career. In his 20s. Uh. And then he has this this weird kind of fling with Amber Heard, who's like right. 23. Um, it's, it's all a little bit off. It is very yeah. episodic. It is like, okay, let's go drink here, let's go drink there. Right. And there's also not a whole lot at stake. I mean, no, that's the other thing. If he goes and sells his soul to work with Aaron Eckhart on this hotel project, who cares? If he stays at this right. paper that's dying, who cares? Right. There's no great tension as far as what's going to happen and right. his. his Outcome. Right. I mean, there's some fun little moments in it, but you know, I, what's his name? Michael Rizzoli. Michael Rispoli is Rizzoli. the photographer that he gets drunk with a lot. Yeah, who is moment. great. Yeah. And I think is one of the. He's probably really the unsung hero of this mm -hmm. film. I think all of the scenes with him and Johnny Depp are great, are really fantastic, mm -hmm. but the rest of the movie gets a little weird. Although, I do have to point out, I thought Johnny Depp's sunglasses were rad. 
<laughs> of course they were, because uh, they were on his face. Right, uh, just a whole other <laughs> parenthetical aside that has nothing to do with anything. I want those sunglasses, because they're really cool. Better or worse than the tourist? I like the tourist. I'm a tourist apologist. I have fun. Okay. I, if the tourist is at least fun and pretty to look at, and it's, it's very <laughs> indulgent, this is sort of just. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I feel about the same way as I think I like this a little bit more than the tourist, a little bit. But again, it suffers from that same understated Johnny Depp performance. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'm a little more disappointed here because I'm expecting, I'm wanting the Hunter S. Thompson right. insanity. Right. Uh, but I think it does a lot of the same things. It's, it, you know, like the tourist is this love letter to Venice. This is almost this love letter to, to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah. I mean, Puerto Rico probably has never looked better on film. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, so much of the, the writing, of Hunter S. Thompson's writing is so interior. Yeah. I think it's yeah. hard and you don't to get convey a lot of that. that on right. screen. And you don't get a lot yeah. of that here, whereas you get, I felt like you got more of that you know, even just the voiceover wise in mm -hmm. Fear and Loathing, mm -hmm. you don't get a lot of that yes. here. A lot of pretty scenery and not a lot of meat. Okay, let's do numbers. Matt Atchity. Uh I gave it a six. I gave it a four and a half. I'm even lower than you. Uh, so we have a 5.25 on Rum Diary. It's kind of in the middle of the road on the yeah, tomato 65. meter. Yeah, 65. Fresh at the moment, but that could change. It is vaguely fresh. Okay, thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.